mountain under God. The sounds of prayer and praise pierce the overcast skies in Philadelphia, the birthplace of our nation, as Christians called out to God to forgive our sins and return our land to its biblical roots. We are sufficient. We are enough to change this nation. We can do it today. Thousands have come from all over the country here to Philadelphia's Independence Mall to pray. They believe these are critical days for America and that their prayers will make the difference. I'm expecting a spiritual awakening to happen. You know, a, a, a great ship doesn't turn on a dime. But when they start to turn it, first you don't feel it, first you, and then all of a sudden you realize, if you've ever been on a cruise, it, we're turning around. CBN's Dr. Pat Robertson called America the greatest country on earth, but says we need unity to stay strong. Jesus said, a house divided against itself can't stand, and a kingdom divided against itself cannot endure. We must come together as one people, as one nation under God. America's hope is not a president, it's not an economy, it's not a military. Our hope is Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah, whose very name means salvation. And Messianic Jew Sid Roth urged America to keep standing with Israel. Obadiah 115, as you have done to Israel, it will be done to the United States of America. Dozens of speakers prayed that America would be delivered from the seven deadly sins, pride, greed, lust, envy, gluttony, wrath, and slothfulness. All across this nation, Lord, from the north, the south, the east, and the west, God, Lord, that your people would be strong in this hour, God, that we would not be slothful, God, that we would not put our heads in the sand, Father. And we'll mark this day in the annals and the history of the church that the nation began to turn back toward God. Wendy Griffith, CBN News, Philadelphia.